Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Big Fish Synergy. And today we're gonna to be looking at the FOM waking crank. This bait has basically uh, accounted for some vicious strikes, some amazing slurp bites, and just some overall incredible action on the water. And if you don't know about FOM, you should seriously do some research into the company. They make some of the most realistic looking, responding, swimming, uh, and productive swim baits on the market, in my opinion, and I'm very happy to be fishing them right now. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the waking crank, specifically in bass pattern, because that's, I haven't taken it off my, uh, my low down custom uh, medium heavy uh, setup. It's just been absolutely lights out, and uh, when the bite is tough, it's come through. So this is gonna be kind of a highlight reel of some situations where I've utilized it, and hopefully you can garner a sense of uh, where this might be productive and when it might be productive for you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, we're uh, in the woods. Should have gone to the other <laughs> to the other place. That's always how it ends up, though, right? It's all hindsight. There was a time where this this was a good spot, truly. You could get on some nice mid four, low five. Oh, it's a big hornet. Stay away from him. I just think this place is so fish to death. It's really tough. Let's start with that FOM wig again. I got a strange feeling about this thing for some reason. Another spot that's not going to be the easiest to cast here. Yeah, look at this. I'm already in the tree. I'm going to have to go straight over the top and then try not to hit all this other stuff because it's so overgrown. Terrible cast, by the way. <gasps> Also not loving this insane amount of ants in this tree. What is this? A center for ants? What?
Yeah, look, people have people been throwing around here. That's what I'm saying. It's just these fish have seen everything here. How about that cast? Absolutely ridiculous. Circus cast. Two feet out. Oh my god. The FOM comes through yet again on a really tough day. I couldn't even do anything on that. That's a four and a half, I'd say. Oh man, he T-boned it. He spawned out. Let's get a uh that's a good fish. T-bone. That thing is hooked. Let me get this over here. That is, man, a good one. Let me just uh, get him unhooked. Amateur hour. Good fish though. Look at that sucker. Crazy. Long, long fish. I'd say that goes right under four. Maybe four. Very red fin there. Hey, what is going on? Uh, I must, must have gotten brushed up there. Let's get a weight. Let me get some picks, maybe some commentary. Okay, so uh, three pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, it's, it's spawned out. I mean, that looks like a four all day long, but I totally get it. Okay, guys, on a tough day, we were able to just produce this three pound, eight ounce, which is totally spawned out. On any day of the week, this would be a four. Look at that mouth. Came up and crushed the FOM. Two feet, fr <laughs> two feet from shore. I was fishing that on the uh, low down custom, medium heavy. 25 pound uh, Maxima Ultra Green Leader and uh, 80 pound Max Quattro Braid Daiwa uh, Z2020 Real 7 1 gear ratio. Uh, and that was able to just help me uh, keep them pinned. I really just kind of reeled down. So uh, we'll get a release.
walking it. Subsurface walker. Wow. Smirked it. Good one. It's off. You got free. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh no, is he still there? Holy <laughs> he was just r running all the way in. Oh, that's a good one. That's a four for sure. Nice. Oh my god, talk about a slurp fight. Wow, that's a five maybe. Jeez. One hook. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna say that's mid fours, four or five or so. Let's get a weight. Let's get some picks, let's get a weight. Dude, the FOM is coming up huge, man.
yet. There it is. Sick. Dude, that was an unbelievable bite on the crank down. Ooh, he really got that. That's like a two pound fish, but I can't even get to the hooks on that. See you, bud. That was a great bite. Completely missed him. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. I gotta see what I did on camera there. I think I pulled it out of his mouth. Should have let him take it a little longer. I'm just so used. It was so on the frog bite. There's a bass right there. Man, they're really on this thing, huh? The little guy though. The other one was a good one. Just kissed that one. Cool bite. Wow, that was a ridiculous flip and totally unnecessary. See how they're kissing that and bringing it back in? That's an unbelievable bite. Yes. Just show you this real quick. That's a nice fish. It's like a big head little body guy. Let me just try to manually take these out. Yes. Tell you the FOM really does got the right swim. Should have brought my pliers back here. This is dumb. Let's get a release. Angles are everything in this close quarter fishing like this. One more here. Stop it. Hit it. Didn't get hooked. That's, that I, I would guess that was probably a small one.
There we go. Oh, just had him hooked. <laughs> Good fish. Just had him hooked. Okay, so as you can see, just got this like probably around a three pounder. Really nice fish. He uh, he slurped that FOM. Um, I was working it real slow. It's the thing with these wake baits. Sometimes you got to be as painfully slow as possible. I saw him kind of uh, circling under it, and um, yeah, he uh, he followed it in a couple times, and then finally he slurped it down on uh, the fourth cast. So we'll get a release. Okay, so thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, that was another fun episode and uh, kind of an all-star reel of the FOM wake and crank and that bass pattern. And like I said, I haven't taken it off my reel. Again, I'm fishing this on a low-down custom, medium heavy, moderate fast. The parabolic's cool too. Um, I just don't have that yet. I'm still waiting on it because the, uh, the blanks are so hard to get with Corona right now. Uh, but the mod fast keeps treble hooks pinned. Trust me. I've caught plenty of fish on them And I pair that with a Daiwa Z 2020. It's got a 7 to 1 gear ratio uh, It's good in case you want to crank it down and start doing the twitch thing and um, Remember that this uh, this bait is cool It kind of does like that dead walk type thing if you can uh, if you can crank it down deep enough and then give it give it the right slack and walk it It'll uh, it'll do that dead walk thing and it gets gets wrecked like that caught a couple of pickerel like that no big bass yet but it, it'll get hit soon um and again i'm fishing that on 80 pound braid and uh 25 pound maxima ultra green leader with that decoy uh x snap i believe it's a size three on this one i either go three or four the medium or the or the top it's 120 pound test or 150 pound test uh and I'm tying the leader with an FG knot. I've got a video on that as well. So yeah, definitely pick up a, pick up some FOM baits. They do glides, they do crank downs, they do wake and crank. Um, his, I believe David Williams, his stuff is absolutely unbelievable and I've had a blast fishing it. And if it's working here in New Jersey, it's probably gonna work for you. So, uh, you know, in other parts of the country because this is pretty pretty tough fishing out here. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, turn on the bell to receive notifications and leave me some comments. Love to hear what you guys think. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Big Fish Synergy, over and out.